Josh Hawley, the senator, was giving this incredible speech a couple days ago on on the Senate floor, and he was talking about um, how people don't even aspire to become um, yes. in a greater you know socioeconomic status than they currently are in because the economy is designed by the elite and for the elite yeah. um you are forced into the class system that you're basically born into now if you're working class you largely will stay working class if you're middle class you largely will stay middle class um and that's fine for a lot of people but it's it's difficult when you know uh it's people are talked down to as well just just get a better education just yes. get a better job as if it's so easy to go through life and everything is free and you don't have to pay for anything um and aside from that we're going to bring in millions of people that are going to compete against you so have fun in the labor market i just would like for an economy where people can be inspired to reach that uh to go further to further themselves, to grow, and then be rewarded. It seems like that's less of the case now, and immigration is a huge part of that. Right, and think about who is rewarded in our economy. It is multinational corporations. It is Wall Street. Yeah. It is big banks. It is uh, employers who outsource their jobs to China because they're, quote-unquote, cutting labor costs because yeah. they need to stay afloat, um, and they it's too expensive to hire Americans. That's what they tell us. Um, and also, I mean, this is the economic model of Bernie Sanders, yes. Joe Biden, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, deplete the middle class, create a ruling class, which is what we already have, and create a servant class of people that essentially is slave labor, people at the very bottom who will serve the ruling class. 